For more on the verdict, we're joined now by Robert Mahoney in New York. He is the deputy executive director of the Committee to Protect Journalists, the CPJ. Thanks so much for joining us. Let me just start by asking you what you make of these prison sentences for Dundar and Gul. Well, we think it's appalling that journalists should go to jail uh, just for doing their jobs. And what was really on trial here today was the Turkish criminal system and how it's applied against Turkish journalists. This sends a message to Turkish journalists that if you do investigative reporting, you're going to face prosecution under these sweeping anti-terrorism and security laws. But those that are for the sentences here would argue that the United States pursued Edward Snowden, Glenn Greenwald, and other democratic countries have gone after journalists uh, when they feel that national security uh, might be compromised. So do you think it's really different in Turkey and specifically in this case? I think that's a false equivalence. There are no journalists in jail in the United States for reporting, as far as I'm aware. There are more than 14 in Turkey. Turkey has a record under President Erdogan of not uh, allowing investigative and critical journalism. Turkey is a democratic country, and it should be allowing the press to do its, to do its work. Give us some context here, if you can, and how common is it for journalists to be convicted of espionage, or in this case, of leaking state secrets? Only in extremely repressive countries, and that's why it's, it's saddening to see Turkey go down that route, We're using laws that are overbroad. Uh, this newspaper is not an irresponsible newspaper. It's a paper that did a very thorough investigation and had video of the story of uh, Turkey trying to ship arms to Islamists in Syria. Um, therefore, it should not have been uh, criminally prosecuted. There is no reason for journalists doing journalism to be uh, treated as spies. There are plenty of, uh, of laws to deal with um, spies and breaches of national security, but this is reporting. It's what, this, uh, it's what we all do in the journalism profession. But do you think, and as Turkey would argue, that there is actually an appreciation uh, for the threats that Turkey faces outside of this country? <laughs> then let Turkish journalists do their work and inform us. Okay. Uh, Robert Mahoney, we're going to have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we're out of time. I'd like to thank you, though, so much for joining us and sharing your insights on TRT World. You're